just finished the first official portfolio shooting of the Nepal Tiger project. And here with John Brooks. John, could you tell me some of your impressions about the shooting? Well, actually, I was very impressed with this shoot. The people in Hungary are very engaging and very friendly. Um, the, the Botanical Gardens is just a beautiful place to, to do this shoot, to give us the feel that we're actually in the jungle. Uh, and the costumes were just kind of really out there, which gives people the impression that you're doing an old uh, old uh, safari type of shoot. It was great. You seemed really comfortable with these uh, clothes. Did you wear something similar in the agenda? Yeah, um, I've been accused of being a vampire, that I've lived many lives, and uh, I probably wore these clothes once before in my past, but I, I actually like the old style that people, that men used to dress up wearing tweed and bow ties and hats and things of that nature. Uh, guys don't tend to do that anymore. So it was nice to go back in time a bit and have the shoot with these old clothes. Could you tell us some information about the Nepal Tiger Project? The Nepal Tiger Project is something that we're, we've engaged to try to, to try to prove or disprove the presence of a population of tigers in the foothills of the Himalaya Mountains. All uh, biological data to this date, to this date uh, says they're not there. But uh, on three previous trips of my own that I've been there, the Shepa people who live in this area say without a doubt tigers are there. Their numbers are low, maybe like maybe five animals are left, but they're there in addition to having leopards and bears and whatnot. Uh, I showed them many photographs of tigers, leopards, jaguars, these animals that aren't even in this area. And they, every time they tell us, oh yeah, we have this, this is what I saw, mm -hmm. a tiger. So, I just have to gather biological data now to confirm what these people told me is up there. Okay, thank you very much. You're quite welcome, thank you.